Hello. In this video, we are going to derive the Henderson-Hasselbach equation. First, note that if we have a weak acid, if we dissolve it in water, the following reaction takes place. The acid will donate a proton to water to form hydronium ion and we'll be left with the conjugate base of the acid, which is the anion A-. We can write the equilibrium constant for this reaction as follows, and we give this equilibrium constant a special name of K sub A, and recall that we write the products in the numerator, and while we have addition here in the equilibrium constant, we multiply the concentrations. And then in the denominator, we write the reactants. Now, one might suspect we would also include the concentration of water, but since water is a pure substance, its concentration is effectively its density, which does not change in the reaction, so therefore, by convention, we omit the concentration of water from the equilibrium constant. Our next step is to multiply each side of this equation by the concentration HA. And that gives us Ka times the concentration HA is equal to the concentration of hydronium ion, H3O+, plus times the concentration of A minus. In the next step, we divide each side by the concentration A minus, and that gives us the Ka times the concentration HA divided by the concentration A minus is equal to H3O plus concentration, which is our concentration of hydronium ion. Next, we can use the reflexive property to rewrite this equation, but now with the concentration of hydronium ion on the left-hand side. Our next step is to take the logarithms of each side. So that gives me, for the left-hand side, I have the log of H3O plus. And the right-hand side becomes the log of this expression Ka times the concentration of HA divided by A minus. To simplify the right-hand side, we are going to make use of an important property of logarithms, which is that the log of a product, AB, is equal to the log of A plus the log of D. And if we use that property, our left-hand side will remain exactly the same. So we have the log of H3O plus. But now we can break up the expression on the right-hand side as the log of Ka plus the log of the ratio, the concentration of HA divided by the concentration of A minus. Our next step is rather simple, but it's important. 
we're going to multiply through the entire equation by minus 1. And that gives us the negative log of H3O plus is equal to the negative log of Ka minus the log of HA divided by A minus. And one thing we can recognize is why we did that particular step. The negative log of H3O plus is simply the pH. The negative log of the Ka is the pKa. And we'll continue to write the expression on the right as it is. We have minus the log of HA divided by A minus. We now want to use one more property of logarithms, which is that the log of A divided by B is equal to the negative log of B over A. If we use that particular property on the final term in our expression here, that gives us the Henderson-Hasselbalch equation, which is that the pH is equal to the pKa plus the log of A minus the conjugate base divided by the concentration of HA. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.